Tesla Giga Berlin is getting a new inspection. Many people are asking, was this something new or planned? We're going to find out in this report as Brandenburg's Ministry of Environment begins two-week inspection of Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. If you are here first time, this is Armin Haryan from Torque News. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. So officials from Brandenburg's Ministry of Environment will be inspecting Giga Berlin over the next two weeks to ensure sure it was built and is operating in accordance with the factory's permit. Some people think this is probably a usual normal inspection, but others say this is normal with if everything goes normal. But if something doesn't go normal, this could result in some changes. Others are asking, is this expected? Was this inspection expected or something new from the environmental organizations? No, this was expected as Sawyer Merritt on Twitter reported a couple of days ago that Tesla is in the final stage stages of getting full environmental approval for Giga Berlin. 16 of the 18 requirements have already been met. The rest will be checked in the coming weeks as this is possible only after the full launch of the work at the factory. Did you understand what I said? That means the two of the requirements that Tesla is going to meet can be only done after Tesla is fully operational. Therefore, this permit, this inspection was expected. Is starting today and going to end until May 20. Now, some people are asking, why did Tesla even build in Germany again? Well, Germany has a strong car manufacturing history and an excellent education system producing these excellent engineers. Tesla is there for the talent, one of the, obviously one of the reasons, and obviously show the German car manufacturers how to do stuff when it comes to electric vehicles. Do you have any other reasons that Tesla chose Germany? besides good education, the talent of engineering, uh, Tesla is tapping on that talent. Let me know your thoughts, friends, if you know why else, what other reasons why Tesla used, uh, chose Germany for its Giga Berlin. So the ministry announced the inspection at Giga Berlin would begin on May 9th today and last until May 20. According to a report by RBB24, the inspection could result in some changes to Giga Berlin. If authorities determine the factory is being operated in accordance with requirements of the permit, Tesla will be granted a grace period to correct the deficiencies. If after the grace period is over, Tesla has still not corrected the issues, more forceful measures could be taken, including up to a shutdown of the factory. Can you imagine this? After so many difficulties, after so many hard work and so many um, time months of waiting instead of being opened last year in June, July, shut down again. I don't know. Let's see how things go. Hopefully, Tesla has done a great job with those requirements. If after the grace period, like I said, is over, Tesla has still not corrected the issue more forceful measures could be taken, including up to a shutdown of the factory. However, such a measure would only be considered if there was an immediate danger to workers or the environment. So far, we haven't received any reports that there are immediate dangers uh, to workers or the environment. There was a leak one time that I reported and that was quickly solved. Tesla showed that it is capable of fixing any leaks or any issues with regarding hazardous leaks. Tesla officially began production at Giga Berlin and deliveries from Giga Berlin nearly two months ago on March 22nd, 2022. If you remember, Tesla CEO Elon Musk went to Berlin, went to Giga Berlin, even danced there at the opening, and we saw 30 plus electric Model Y vehicles delivered and given to their first owner. Despite this, the factory has not yet met all of the requirements that were part of the environmental approval. This is allowed by the government since the factory is being commissioned in phases uh, the requirements for the respective parts of the factory in uh, operation have met. Even though the environmental approval has been secured, an environmental group is calling for Giga Berlin's operating permit to 
to be revoked. The Green League is requesting such a drastic measure after a leak at the factory's paint shop last month. Friends, let me know what you think about this inspection. I think it's good that uh, things are going well. Like, for example, 16 out of 18 requirements from the government has been met. And now Tesla has a chance to show that after it was open for two months, Tesla has already met those requirements, that there is no danger to the environment, that no, there, is, there is no immediate danger to the workers, and Tesla can continue doing its work. Let me know your thoughts. Let's continue the comment section below the, our discussion. This is Armin Haryan from TalkToos.com. Please give Give us thumbs up for this report if you found it useful and helpful. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you. Subscribe to our channel and let's move on to our next Tesla story. Today I was looking on Reddit and I saw this interesting Tesla Model 3 which they was titled as one of the coolest Tesla Model 3s I have seen. It's really cool. I think look at this Model 3. Do you like it? That's what passes as modding on Tesla though, right? At least this person did more than just the door handles like most people on here. Please let me know what it reminds you. Some people say this Model 3 reminds them a souped up Honda Civic from the 1990s. Anyone here old enough? to remember 1990s what does it remind you let me know friends your thought now this is a cool tesla model 3 but obviously it's not the most beautiful i personally wouldn't say ugliest but definitely too much going on here for sure what do you think is going on in this tesla if you have any thoughts please let me know in the comment section below do you think it tried really hard to be something it's not do you modify your Tesla Model 3? If yes or Model Y, how do you do that? Let me know, friends. Some people on Reddit say the owner should have stopped at the carbon hood and that all those windshield stickers are ghetto and hideous. Do you agree? They also ask, why does this hood have vents? Any need for that? I mean, there is nothing under the hood to cool off, right? Is there? So why would you even need a hood vent on this Tesla Model 3? And what about those fenders is there a feeling for that i once read one person saying just because we can or could not doesn't mean we will or should or should not on the other hand the wheels of this tesla model 3 and ground effects are okay the model 3 is perhaps lower too far but i don't know the wheel reach flares hood and well everything else is just kind of distracting i don't mind the carbon hood except for the vents i have to assume that this is on bags there is no way someone is driving a car this heavy that low do you agree with that now I kind of like this vehicle, but I'm only 50 years old, so to my adolescent self thinking, it looks good. Did they replace the doors or put these uh, wing things or those wing things on there? Whatever you think, how much do you think those mods cost on this Tesla Model 3? The carbon fiber hood couldn't have been cheap. Is it uh, one of a, a or available as modification? I read a Reddit discussion on this image and felt that tesla owners don't really like to modify their teslas or they don't really like modified teslas personally i think it looks fine to each their own tests i guess because everybody has its own test so let me know your thoughts i would like to hear what do you think about modification yet other people say this style is not meant for a model 3 it feels like a wannabe model Civic or wannabe modded Civic. It cheapens it more than enhances it. A new color wrap, sport rims, and the spoiler should do the trick. Anything beyond that and you have done way too much. Now, friends, do you think this Model 3 looks like a Honda Civic? And do you think this styling fits the Tesla Model 3? Or do you think Teslas should be modified anyway? I would like to hear your opinions because a lot of Tesla owners read this channel and they have a lot of good opinions. I like reading your comments, friends. So I would like to see what you think about modifying the Tesla Model 3, Model Y or Model S. Are there any modifications that fit one type of model but it are no-no's? for another tesla like for example maybe there is a modification that is good for model 3 but not good for model y or model s or model x let me know friends your thoughts this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up for this report if you like what i'm reporting have a blessed day god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next tesla story